I'm my Roy Jr. Today, I'd like to talk about some of my favorite Goosebumps books. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but back around 1995, and for a few years later, I was a big fan of Goosebumps. The first time I heard a Goosebumps book was in fourth grade. And before my teachers read, read a. My teachers read the, the book, uh, Let's Get Invisible. That was, that was a good one. I learned uh, there more Goosebumps books. I had one more of them. Like, I didn't really didn't get to, I didn't really get my first use of the book till the the end of nineteen ninety four. When I was at a book fair, I picked out one of night at Horrorland. When I went for Christmas, I got a few more books. But then then like after the school year, I started collecting uh, uh, more of them. Especially some of the ones I really wanted, and yeah, I was collecting the the. Uh, it could be so good on series, though, though I don't think it has many of those books. I will watch the, the Goosebumps Selfism series. A few uh, years ago, I watched the, uh, the, the, the Goosebumps movie. It was good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard a lot like, like, I think there was mainly a fan of Goosebumps from about 1994 to, to 1999. I think, I think I saw a losing interest in Goosebumps around, around then. But a couple years ago, I saw the thing about Goosebumps, you know. A bit more, had some more Goosebumps fever. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of played a factor for me seeing that the the Goosebumps movie, even you know, though we we said newfound Goosebumps fever, it it died down a little bit, or at least uh, lost some of that impact. Anyway, I'm really a big fan of the the Monster Blood series. It, it, one of the first Goosebumps books I got after, after one night at Horrorland was Monster Blood two. They got Monster Blood. Hmm. I think, I think I got both of those for, for uh, Christmas of 1994. I think I got first and Monster Blood. They found out Monster Blood 3. I found out that there was a character named Kermit. I saw the him with the Mobile Carrots. I, I really wanted that one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like, like the, the packaging, or like, like the, the green on the book cover. Yeah. I got Monster Blood 4, but I can't remember if I ever actually read that one or not. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like uh, 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 why I'm afraid of bees, and you know, one of my favorites is uh, the the uh, Girl Who Cried Monster. It's a great book, the great episode of the series. Great. Kind of a little, little like, like the the twist ending there. I also like uh, it. Went to camp a nightmare. Yeah. I remember when I saw saw the episode on the on the television series. It had to be two parts. I was ready to watch it next week, but then I had to. Miss it. Yeah. One of the books I really wanted after seeing the cover, one of the ones I wanted the most after seeing the cover was My Harry's Adventure. The, about the book, I saw the episode. It was, it was still a great one. There's a lot of people who don't really like it. They think that the Tristan ending with them becoming dogs was boring, but, but I liked it though. And it's like, you know, Lessons of Murder and, and the Be Careful What You Risk For. Actually, I guess the, 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 the majority of my all-time favorites are the first 20. Like, yeah, yeah, there's a lot that came later that I like, but those ones seem to be the best. I really like, like, say, Out of the Basement. Those are, those are some of my favorite Goosebumps books.